Can't stop that feeling. So happy that you're with me today. So, what do I? <laughs> Great way to start. So, welcome to our energy forecast for the week ahead. I hope that gets your blood working and that body moving and that joy just to happen. And that would be so wonderful, such a gift. So what do our, what does spirit, our angels, guys, and light workers want us to know for the week ahead? Well, from Colette Baron Reed's Wisdom of the Oracle card deck, we were gifted with number eight, the tribe. Such a beautiful card. Such a beautiful card. The tribe is about community, the groups that we belong to, that we are a part of, whether they're our family, our, um, our extended family, our colleagues at work, our people, uh, the groups that we belong to in our communities, our faith families, our um, uh, sports communities and groups that we may belong to. It's all about community. And how we show up in that community. And one of the important lessons for us with this card, number eight, the tribe, is don't try to be all things to all people. Hmm? Choose. We need to choose our role and be true to it, to serve from our authentic self. We all have a purpose and a unique gift that only we can bring to the world. What is our gift? What is our life purpose? Have we perhaps kind of lost that? You know, maybe, especially as parents and as our um children grow up and leave the nest you know that connection is very strong and it can be so hard to let go and then it's like what now you know or if we suffer a loss of a loved one or of a relationship or um, our life circumstances change and we've, we've become ill or are suffering in some way. And then, and then it's like, what now? What do I do now? How do I still live a passionate life? How can I be of service to others? That's what the tribe is all about. Okay, number eight, if we look at the numerology of it, number eight is about abundance. There is always more than enough. There's more than enough love. There's more than enough resources. There's more than enough um, uh, joy for everyone, including ourselves. We don't have to make ourselves small so that somebody else can be happy and shine. No, that's not the way it works. We are a spark of the divine. We are holy. We are blessed. We are sacred. And we need to let our life shine for others to see.
we have a purpose. Again, a unique gift that only we can bring to this world. We just might sometimes forget about what it is. It's time to come home. And so our passion always leads us to our purpose. It brings awareness, this energy of abundance brings awareness of our personal power and possibilities. The possibilities are endless. And this energy also teaches us that we are so much more than we even recognize. So much more. We have everything that we need deep within. And there's more than enough. More than enough joy, more than enough love, more than enough peace, more than enough hope. Hope, more than enough faith, more than enough love to give and to receive and to be nurtured. Now, I also love the image of the giraffe. Perfect. Perfect. Giraffe is that energy that rises above the crowd and calls us to trust in our intuition, to hold ourselves high, to hold our head high with and strong yet humble, knowing who we are and what we have to offer the world to rise above the crowd. We've got this. And that mother-baby connection, ah, just so perfect. Whether that's our nurturing self, taking care of a loved one, or whether that's nurturing self that's being called to take care of ourselves to make ourselves a priority, to practice self-care, self-love, self-forgiveness. And this card is absolutely perfect and fits right in with the heavenly energies that are in the week ahead. So let's take a look at some of those. March the 7th, we have a full moon in Virgo at 7.40 a.m. Eastern. And the full moon in Virgo is all about balance, receptivity, and truth seeking. It's offering us infinite potential. And it's directly opposite our sun in the spiritual sign of Pisces. Virgo is a sign of order, day-to-day -day activities, and routines, physical health, particularly the digestive system. So this opposition calls us to find a balance between these two parts of ourselves. Is there something in our day-to-day -day lives that we have found difficult to digest? Is our current situation, work, home, relationships, is it one that nourishes us, gives us life? If not, perhaps with this full moon, we are being asked to make some changes in our life to let go of repetitive thoughts, overthinking, worries, and fears of the future. It's a time to see ourselves from a more loving, objective point of view. The giraffe, perfect. Can see so high and so far. Okay? And to do what is necessary to take better care of ourselves from a more loving, objective point of view and to choose life. 
if we have not been looking after ourselves or if we have been ignoring any lingering uh, symptoms, it is important for us to take action during this full moon. Seek out the support that we may need, a friend, a counselor, a mentor, an employer, a doctor, rehab, whether it be emotional, spiritual, or physical, now is the time. We need to practice self-care and pay particular attention and look after our physical bodies as much as possible. This is a huge part of practicing self-love and accepting our bodies no matter what, even if we are facing illness or dis-ease. We are caretakers of our bodies, not their owners. It's not selfish to love ourselves, take care of ourselves, and to make our happiness, to make our happiness a priority. In fact, it's a necessity. March the 7th is also the day that Saturn enters Pisces. And this is huge. Endings and beginnings. With Saturn in Pisces, we will be searching for deeper meaning in our lives, wanting certainty, discernment, insight, understanding about our life's purpose, our hopes and dreams. And March the 12th. Jupiter is holding hands with the planet of healing, Chiron, the planet of healing in the sign of Aries. We may be feeling vulnerable. Old wounds may resurface, giving us another opportunity to feel those feelings, to see things from a new light, to make new choices, to let go of what is no longer serving us. It's also a great opportunity to seek help from a mentor, a teacher, some other professional or trusted source. Lots going on in the week ahead. Trust spirit. We are co-creators of the divine and we are divinely guided and protected. We have nothing to fear. We have everything we need deep within us. Even the challenges that we may face. There is a treasure in there. They are meant to support us, to teach us. To bring us to life. We've got this. If you are seeking clarity or seeking spirit's guidance in some area of your life, I would be most honored to bless you with a personal reading. My most popular reading right now is the Life Path Spread. Let's see what Spirit has to say. Book a session with me. Again, I would be most honored and happy to serve you. And if you'd like to delve deeper and you're ready for some one-on-one -on -one personal coaching, together let's discover the infinite possibilities that are awaiting you with my Infinite Possibilities Coaching. We will explore how to become mindful of our thoughts, how to uncover limiting beliefs, how our emotions can be used as a signpost and how to reach for better feelings, like with Justin Timberlake in that music and moving our bodies. Yeah, that's a way of reaching for better feelings, especially when we're feeling low. And how to use our intuition to guide us 
what it means to have faith, what our real life purpose is, and how to take action to reach our goals. Infinite Possibilities Coaching gives you actionable skills, skills to change the way you think and steps to take to live the life of your dreams. And it's available on a 40% discount right now. Be sure to check it out. I am Martina Severo, Oracle Card Reader, Astrologer, Certified Infinite Possibilities Coach, and Founder and Creator of Finding Treasure, The Journey Home. Welcome to my channel. Please like, subscribe, and share. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And again, if you would like a personal oracle card or astrology reading or certified infinite possibilities coaching with me, be sure to explore my website. It's easy to navigate and to find, schedule, and pay for services with just the click of a button. You're also able to book a free consultation with me. Happy exploring. Links to all these things mentioned in the, this today's video are listed below in the description. Uh, for this video. And um, you'll also find the uh, Justin's a link to Justin's video uh, and music on uh, below there too. So, uh, and along with some others that I find that are helpful uh, to check out when um, I'm maybe feeling low or needing some inspiration or something. I, I think you might like some of them and they may be of help help to you as well. So be sure to check out the links are right there in the description. And I've also included um, uh, direct links to some of my, um, to my getting to know you, getting to know me playlist, some of the uh, videos that I've done in the past. Uh, some of them have gone back to actually 2017, 2018, when I first started this channel. Uh, years ago and so it will help you uh, help you to get to know me better and uh, so they're available some of those uh, videos uh, direct links to some of those videos are available in the description below as well so hope they may be helpful and uh, wishing you abundant blessings in the week ahead stay healthy stay safe and just know that we are loved we are love, we are joy, we are abundance, we are a spark of the divine, divinely created and protected. Namaste.